It's such an exciting time of the year for women's cricket in Australia. The WBBL has been amazing and for the first time ever, we're also launching Women and Girls Week. The growth of women's cricket in Australia has been amazing and we want to celebrate the people who make this happen and hear from the girls now playing and loving the game. So I thought I'd put a call out to a few friends of mine to hear about their journeys on and off the field. Geez, I hope they actually dial in, otherwise this is going to be awkward. All right, I think this is everyone. Uh, thanks so much, all of you guys, for joining me. Let's start with some quick intros. Grace, you can start. Hello, everyone. I'm Grace Harris, and I play for the Brisbane Heat. Nicole? Um, hi, I'm Nicole Williams from Brighton Cricket Club in South Australia, and I was awarded Cricket Australia's Volunteer of the Year this year. Freestar? Uh, my name is Trista Maidu, I am eight years old and I play at Woolwich Cricket Blast. Lisa? Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. I am a uh, Victorian State Panel umpire, obviously here in Melbourne. Ryder? Hi, I'm Ryder. I play for Bell Park under 13. And uh, what do you do? What's your skill? I'm just an all-rounder. That's good. We've got, uh, we've got a former all-rounder next to you, Shelley. Hi, I'm Shelley Nitschi. I'm the coach of the Australian women's team as well as the Perth Scorchers for the WBBL. Lucky you got that in with your boss next to you. And lucky last, Christina Matthews. Uh, yeah, uh, Christina Matthews. I'm CEO of um, uh, WA Cricket, um, but also uh, a, a volunteer in the game since I was 14. Okay, uh, Shrestha, I wanted to come to you first. What's your favourite game to play when you're doing Cricket Blast? with your friends? I like to play batter versus bowler. Mm -hmm. Basically how he plays the batter needs to touch the stump with the bat and come back to his or her team. And the bowler needs to try to hit the stump using the ball before the batter comes back to his or her team. And Chris, obviously um, CEO of WA Cricket, what initiatives are you most proud of, of your time being involved over there? Look, I would suggest what I'm most proud of is the fact that we have developed a fully integrated organisation. So our organisation now works that everybody, men, women, Aboriginals, people with a disability, people from multicultural um, uh, backgrounds, all have programs and are all welcomed into our organisation and our ground and, and know it's a safe space. I think I was pretty pleased recently when we had a, uh, a former staff member return um, after a stint with the um, England side, Tim McDonald, who was the bowling coach. And I spoke to him after he'd been back a couple of weeks. And I said, oh, do you notice much difference now that you're back? And he said, I can't believe how integrated the men's and women's stuff is now. And I think that's what we all should be aiming for, where it's not even a question anymore. Everybody knows that it's a game for all. Right, I'm going to come to you. If you could give us one professional player who inspires you, who would it be and why? Elise Barry inspires me with her um, just skills as a cricketer. And I feel that I have the, the same batting style and pace bowling as her. And I love how she just inspires like young girls like myself that we can one day play for Australia too. I was selected when uh, when Pez got um, selected, right? So I'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> Shell, I'm going to come to you. You're right in the middle of the Australian national team. What part of the coaching role gives you the most satisfaction? Yeah, look, I think it's a number of things. I think it's really satisfying to, to watch players sort of develop, I think, on the field but also off the field and just see them grow as people and and sort of become become leaders within a group. Um, the, the Probably the, the main thing that, that I really get a kick out of is I think um, watching players play at the top level but also enjoy the game. You know, I think it's um, something probably that that I felt like I enjoyed the game when I played it and I want um, players to have that same sort of experience but still obviously have that that will to want to achieve and, and get better, but at the same time having that sense of enjoyment. All right, Nicole, um, it takes so many people to make a cricket club great. Uh, and I'd love to hear not just about your role, but those around you at, at your club. I didn't come from a cricket background like everyone else. I was a very non-cricket family growing up in regional South Australia. And, um, but my, I've got three kids that love playing cricket. 
and a husband that coaches. So my way of being involved was to become a volunteer at our local club. You know, the key people at our club manage so many activities. And if I list a few of them, they're like your grounds, your facilities, your curators, your equipment, your sponsorship events, registrations and inquiries, you know, play HQ, your teams, your social media, junior pathways, all your payments, your canteens, merchandise, you know, fixtures, your coach development. And then obviously all the communication that goes with your players, your parents, your teams, you know, your governing bodies and associations and other key stakeholders. So, you know, I've got a daughter now that's coming through that's 16. And, you know, when she saw that I was on this call with Grace, Ella was like, are you kidding me, mum? How do you get to have a chat with someone like that? You know, it's terrific that there's so many women now um, being role models for the young girls and giving them the opportunities because I I think I probably may have played cricket back in the day if it was an option, but... um, yeah, it wasn't for me. I'm, I'm, I'm past that now. So, um, yeah, this is my way of giving back. Lisa, I want to come to you now. How does a girl from Bendigo decide to follow a career in cricket umpiring? I'm um, still trying to work that out. It started off as I'm a chef by trade. So um, I've been doing, I've been a pastry chef now for 17 years and I wanted to get out of the, out of my box um, and have a hobby. So I took up cricket umpiring because I used to play um, back in the day and my brother said to me, well, why don't you go and take up cricket umpiring? Why not? And I said, well, that's a bit silly. It's all blokes. And he went, since when has that scared you? And I went, fair enough. That's a good point. And yeah, I had some really good mentors up in Bendigo and it snowballed to where I am now. I sort of look around sometimes and go, hang on a minute. How did I get here? In four short years, I'm, I'm standing out there on a field with Grace Harris and the girls and showing that girls, you might not be great at cricket, but you love the game. So you can still be involved at quite a high level. Well, well done and wish you all the best and hopefully you don't have to umpire Grace too many more times in the future. When I go up, it's out, okay, Lee? <laughs> Grace, I want to ask you, what would a young Grace Harris think about one day winning a Commonwealth Games gold medal? Well, the current young Grace Harris would be like, how great is this? Like, there's an opportunity to do it. But the old Grace Harris, or like when I actually was young, she'd just be thinking you were having a laugh for a joke or... I'd have, to, I'd have to win a gold medal in, like, swimming. Like, the impact that you kind of have off the field, I'm probably only just starting to realise it's, um, it's quite broad and it's not just the, you know, the parents. It's the kids that come up to you and go, oh, I really want to play like you or I dressed up as you for the um, who I want to be in the future. Like, they had at school, they had, like, you know, their hero week and they, they said they walked out in... They went to school in the teal kid or in cricket whites and wrote Harris on the back. So I think younger Grace Harris would be like, yep, I want to get into cricket or I want to play whatever sport that I can, that I love. Well, look, thanks very much, guys. I really enjoyed catching up with you. Um, I loved learning, you know, about your stories and how you got into cricket. All of you are so important to where women's cricket is going. So I can't wait to see what you're all about to achieve in the next few years. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. How cool was that? What a bunch of legends, as are the folks at ComBank who have been on this journey with us as a key supporter for the last 23 years. ComBank's support spans across all levels of cricket, with the national team, the WBBL, and of course, grassroots level, where the Growing Cricket for Girls Fund is doing great work in getting so many women and girls involved in the game. I'm certainly inspired after hearing all of that. And if you are too, be sure to visit playcricket.com.au to get involved in this great game. You might just find yourself as a face of Women and Girls Week one of these days.